I received a phone call in the middle of that other video, so we'll split this up into two parts. I was just, I believe, taking the square root of 169 to get 13 for our radius. Okay, we also had to do 16. We'll complete the square here. Grouping up our x's, there's just the single y term, and we'll go ahead and move that minus 161 over by adding it, so it's positive 161. This is a one, so we can complete the square by taking half of this, negative eight. Squaring that, that's positive 64. If I add 64 there, I need to add 64 over here. This is a perfect square trinomial. The square root of x is x, the square root of 64 is eight, and because that's minus, that's a minus. All right, and when we add over here, we get 225. All right, so in standard form, that's what we wanted. That's the equation of our circle, and the center is located at what's being subtracted from x, 8, what's being subtracted from y, nothing, and then we take the square root of this to get the radius. So the radius is equal to the square root of 225, which is just 15, and then we're going to double that to get our diameter of 30. All right, on the next page of this assignment, you only had to do these four, and we're simply going the other way. So given this information, we're gonna write the equation of the circle. So here we go, in standard form. So x minus a negative eight when we plug that in would become plus eight squared, plus y, there's no reason to subtract zero. You could write minus zero, that would be fine. And that's equal to, now be careful, the diameter's five, therefore the radius is 2.5, and be sure you square it when you plug it in. And when you square that, you get 6.25. Okay, down here, our center is negative six, positive two. So X minus a negative six would become plus six, quantity squared. Y minus the Y coordinate squared is equal to the radius squared. But I don't have my radius, I have my area. So remember, area is equal to pi R squared. And I have the area, so I'm gonna replace A with pi pi is equal to pi r squared. So when we divide away the pi's, you get that one is equal to the radius squared. So the radius is one, but we're gonna square it when we plug it in, it's still one. All right, a pizzeria is only gonna deliver to locations within a certain distance of the pizzeria. The region has an area of 36 pi square miles. So here's the pizzeria. Michaela lives four miles north and six miles west. Will the pizzeria deliver to her house? Okay, well, this is a distance, right? I basically need to know what that range is. Well, it has an area of 36 square miles. So let's use our area formula for a circle, pi r squared, and we know that the area is 36 pi. We'll divide the pies away. So 36 is equal to r squared. Take the square roots of both sides and the radius is six. Now, I don't even have to work this problem out to know that she's outside of their delivery area because we know the hypotenuse of the triangle has to be larger than either of these two sides and one of our legs is already six. So no, she lives too far away outside the zone. And then given a graph, can we write the equation? All right, so we need to find the center. This seems to be a diameter, and I'm thinking that's a diameter. A little hard to see. I think this is the center, but I need to count. So two, four, six, eight, nine, and two, four, six, eight, yeah, nine, yeah, okay. So our radius is equal to nine, and our center is located at negative negative one, negative one. All right, so that's all we need to write the equation of the circle. X minus a negative one becomes plus one. Don't forget to square it. Y minus a negative one is also gonna be plus one. And when we square nine, we get 81.